all right facebook youtube april the 15th we just got to our second screen and recoat job of the day uh the client said they end up getting three estimates and we were the first one that they found um guys uh they have 1192 square feet engineer floors screen and recoat okay said um after the we came out um dollar a dollar and 50 cents a square foot screening two coats of polyurethane they had another company come out and he was half the price he was nine hundred dollars and she said courtney it just it just didn't feel right um uh, said they can walk on it uh they can put the furniture back in two hours so basically i already know what he was doing he was just going to kind of put down one of those really cheap urethanes on the floor not polyurethane um and that's that's not suitable and then they called another company he told them to just rip the floors out so guys what we're doing here uh screen a recoat um again 1192 square feet and i'm um, just getting these floors back um you think oh yeah i'm a little bit more aggressive scoby yeah, yep okay no, no 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 i'm gonna say maybe 150. Okay. all right guys so what we're doing so these floors right here like i said they're not bad but what we want to do is um you can see some areas where the veneer is starting to come off so we will be doing some color correction not much um especially right here customer's concern right here so this is just a good indication it's time to get the floors reprotected because the original wear layer is starting to wear off and this is a good indication where you can see this special engineer floors all right so we're going to get started guys on these floors did you guys move the furniture or you got one of the moving companies that oh, you did okay okay nice all righty you guys did a great job all right guys stay tuned Now you see how the floor is getting dull? But we just make it rough enough, there's really nothing to really scratch off on the floor. That's why we're going to see a lot of them coming off. all right guys floors look amazing already the client has gave us multiple comp compliments since we have uh screened the floor did some color correction and clean intact um now uh, scoby and james are about to put the first coat down you can see this area right here that was really worn out added that color back to it looks amazing all right so there's scoby laying the first coat doing the edging with the t-bar I'm going with a satin finish. And what I'm going to do is go back to the other house and uh, put the second coat down. And then after that, I've got two estimates uh, to do. Keep it away from the wall. 
Perfect. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, Facebook, YouTube, Scobie here. Uh, we actually put the first coat on, but there were some spots that were uh, just a little too much poly, and I just kind of sanded it down with my with a little green pad just to make it even. So when I go and put the second coat on, like right there, and a couple spots over there, that it'll be even. So these are the final results, and the floors turned out great, except for those little spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this second coat on and then we're going to be done. Uh, the customer already saw it and, and they are happy with it. So I kind of just wanted to show you. You're going to see those little blotchy spots here and there. But I actually fixed them. And so they're going to cover once I put the poly down. And so that's the learning lesson. You have to make sure when you're doing engineer floors and you're rolling poly that the poly goes on very thin because if it doesn't, that's what you're going to have. You're going to have blotchy spots. You're going to have little lines where it was too much poly in that one place. So, all right, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow, which is Saturday. Thank you so much.